Hi everybody, this is Matt Huber with Algae Research and Supply. And today we are going to talk about the Brainy Briny Beaker Bag. This is a very, very simple uh, way to grow microalgae, measure or quantify the growth of the algae, and then convert that algae biomass into brine shrimp biomass. This is a kit that we've been working on for a very long time, and we're really excited because FOSS uh, Waterway Seaport has helped to give us an impetus to, uh, to design this so that we can really make it affordable to send out uh, to, to students out in their home offices around the United States. Um, okay, so let's get going. You probably just got your kit, you're looking at it and going, how do I do this? So let's talk about the things that are in the kit. First thing you're gonna notice is the Brainy Brainy Beaker Bag. This is just a nice uh, poly bag. It's got graduations on the side so you can measure volume and it's got a one millimeter grid so that when you grow your brine shrimp, you can measure how big they are. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get this is inflate it. Why do I say inflate it? Because if you try to open it up, Sometimes the bottom part, which is what's called gusseted, it's got this little thing that opens up. It doesn't open up the right way, so you gotta do this. You ready? See how it popped open in the bottom? Now this beaker bag is open and ready for business. Um, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do, um, let me walk through the other parts first. Um, this is algae culture. This is a strain of algae called nanochloropsis. Um, this microalgae is about two um, uh, uh, microns, uh, is it microns? Yeah, two microns uh, in diameter. They're super small in the microalgae world. Um, uh, bacteria are pretty much the only kind of organism that's going to be smaller than this. Now these are really cool because they're so small they grow fast. They can get nutrients really, 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 really well um, from their surroundings. Now we actually add nutrients to this container. So all of the fertilizer you need to grow the algae is already right here. So there's no extra stuff that you need to add. Now this nanochloropsis is a saltwater loving algae. So it's marine. So what we have here is uh, some seawater salts. Well, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the salts to the beaker bag and then add some, some chlorine free water. But the neat thing about these salts is they already have the brine shrimp cysts inside them. Brine shrimp known as Artemia, uh, Artemia franci franciscensis or Artemia salina um, are little invertebrates that graze on, guess what, the algae. Um, so this is uh, how we get, or the, those are the, the, the tools there to get the algae and the brine shrimp growing in the beaker bag. The last thing here is this is called a seshi stick. And this seshi stick helps us to quantify how much algae biomass is there. We'll go into that in just a second. Okay, let's pretend that you just got the kit like we did, you inflate your beaker bag. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of your salts here and you're gonna dump the whole thing into the bag. After you've added your salts, go ahead and fill the water up and we wanna get it to about 450 mils, right about there. We don't want to fill it all the way up because when you seal it, it'll spill over. And then begin to shake it. The salt should dissolve pretty quickly, um, but be careful. This, uh, although this top is pretty sealed, it's not a perfect seal with the Ziploc. So we've got the brine shrimp, or we've got the uh, brine shrimp cysts inside here, and we've got the salts inside. Next, we're gonna add the, um, the algae culture that already has the nutrients in it. And there we go. This is now all done. You can save this and use it for other experiments that you wanna tinker with in your home laboratory. Um, just to make sure everything's distributed inside there, you're gonna mix that up a little bit, okay? Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is set this in a nice bright spot. Now, it just so happens I have, uh, as most of you do, right? Um, an LED light right in your home. You want to set this, if you can, about that far away, just off of a, a bright light. Window sills are often too bright. The, uh, the, 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 we call it a flux of light from the sun, gives you about 3,000 micro Einsteins per meter squared second. And that's just the number of photons per area per time. Fancy way of saying that's a lot of light. Where this is going to give off about um, 100. Now, this microalgae culture only needs about 100 to grow really, really fast. 
more than that and they have to work pretty hard, believe it or not, to get rid of the extra light. So no extra light for these algae cultures. It'll get them too, it'll make them work too hard and it could make the water too hot. Anything over about 100 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna kill the algae. So this is what gonna, your cultural will look like very soon. It'll get deep and dark. Now, um, uh, inside this culture, we actually uh, introduced the cyst about, uh, this would be about eight days ago. And you, can, you might be able to see some of these guys inside there. Can you see them? You can see lots of the 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 cysts there they are those are all the micro or those are all the brine shrimp swimming around inside there they're getting pretty big now and when they go in front of the grid you can see them and quantify and get an estimate of how big they are the last thing that we're going to do is use the seshi stick now this seshi stick is pretty interesting because it's going to help us use a property called optical density to measure how much biomass is inside of the uh, algae culture. So you're gonna take your seshi stick, this is your seshi stick, and you're gonna fold it on the dotted line that's on the bottom of this, right above that little black and white target. Now, that little black and white target is what you're gonna look at. So you are gonna try to put this under the water to the depth at which that target just disappears. So you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up until you can, until the very moment that you can't see it, right? Sometimes if you go back and forth with it a little bit, your eyeball catches it. We as humans, we like things that move. So I like to do that trick a little bit. So I'm gonna push this under the water. I'm old, so I have to take my glasses off now. So I'm sticking underwater and this culture, I'm gonna move that light out of the way. It's cheating. You wanna do this exactly the same way every time. How's the top of my head look? Is that shiny? Don't let the reflection of my head hurt the camera. This is at 40 millimeters of seshi stick depth. So on your instructions, you'll have a little uh, a graph to show you what 40 millimeters of seshi st stick depth means to the number of cells per little volume called a milliliter. So you can track that number of cells per volume over time to watch the uh, the culture grow. Okay, that's how you use the seshi stick. So what you wanna do if you're gonna start to quantify things is you can re record that seshi stick depth over time. And with that, it uh, will make you, uh, you'll be able to watch what we call um, a growth curve. You can actually watch the algae grow. And then once you have the algae growing, uh, the uh, the brine shrimp cysts will become more mature and they'll start noshing down on the, the, on the algae cells and you'll find the algae biomass will probably come down a little bit. Now, nanochloropsis is a dynamo when it comes to growing, so it's gonna wanna grow up. So you'll find that there's gonna be a balance between the, gray, the growing of the algae and the grazing of the brine shrimp. So it'll go up and down and up and down in a cycle that we see a lot in biology with what we call predator prey dynamics. Okay, that is the, 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 the Brainy Briny Beaker Bag Kit. If you guys have questions, you can go onto our website, algaeresearchsupply.com. Um, if you have very specific questions, you can email them to us at service at algaeresearchsupply.com. Um, we're usually able to get back to you in about a day. Uh, otherwise, your teachers are gonna be the best people from whom you should get information. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for being out here and for, for being curious about our natural world because the reason we've been inspired to do this is to let everybody know that half of the world's oxygen comes from microalgae. There you go. Have fun, everybody. Bye.